Hey guys, Brian John Spencer here. Day 18 still of the Ireland in 32 days project. I was in Clifton last night. I was at Abbey Glen for lunch and I'm heading towards Tullamore in County Offaly. And I wanted to stop off on the way. I've passed through Galway town. I came by Castle Ellen, uh, which is the old ancestral home of Sir Edward Carson. And by complete chance, I've bumped into Michal. the owner, proprietor, Michal O'Connor. O'Connor. Sorry, it's, the, the, the planter does not, is not so good with the, 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 the Gaelic tongue, so excuse me on that. But it's been an absolute pleasure. Michal has invited me into his home, invited me into the premises and shown me around and told me all about the history of this wonderful building, the outhouses, the huge vast premises. Could you just tell me very quickly how, how you came across Carson's old holiday place? Um, well, in 1974 I, I saw an advertisement in the local paper uh, where, where there was a semi derelict house for sale standing on nine acres. So. So um, uh, I, I, came, I came out of the house and uh, walked up the avenue and saw this semi derelict house full of character, went into the wall garden and saw all the old apple trees. And um, a week or two later, it was, it was, the auction took place on, on, the, uh, on the front steps of the house. And I wasn't there that day, but a brother of mine came to the auction and, and he, he came back and told me to bought. Yeah. For about six thousand eight hundred pounds that time. Wow. Nineteen seventy four. Wow. Yeah. And you didn't realise at the time the historical sort of importance of this place, did you? No, I knew nothing about it, like nothing about it. So when did you yeah. find out that this was um, the old holiday home really of sometime later I, I, I somebody was telling me about uh, the connection between Castle Ellen House and and uh, and and uh, Sir Edward Carson and um there's a bit in the local paper and, and uh, mentioned that uh, they said Carson was the adjacent man. So yes, yes. Uh, and then um, I saw another strip in the paper one time where where uh, uh, he was uh, friendly with Oscar Wilde in Trinity College. Yes. And, and he'd have, uh, uh, I'd say, I'd come down here on an occasion to visit to visit the, the family place. I'd imagine. Yeah. And you know, can you uh, just tell us? It was yeah. Edward Carson's mother yeah. who was part of the Lamberts who originally uh, built Castle Leslie, which as you pointed out to me, is yeah, just yeah. beyond the house and in the other field. That then was made, I came derelict, and it was then 18, mid 1800s that this house was built by yeah, Edward Carson's yeah, yeah. mother's forebears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you just tell us a little bit about yeah. the history of the building? Um, well, I, I th think that um, uh, Lam Lambert, Major General Lambert came to Ireland uh, as uh, Major General in Cromwell's army. And then, for, um, uh, for for services rendered to Cromwell, oh, they were given lands in East Galway. Yes. And there's two or three brothers settled up here, and they they, they, um, they lived in the castle, uh, which was built in 15, 15 something. Uh, they lived there for a few hundred years, and and um, they, they, they had, the family was becoming too numerous to live there, so. That, they built this large commodious house called Castle Ellen House uh, about 200 years ago, and, and, um, and they've been there since, like, you know. And so. what, what um, I came across yourself, Michal, and, and this building through an old documentary um, by T.G. Cahar and Ma is it Mr. Mangan. Mangan. McGann, oh yeah, yes, I, I yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the photographer. And yeah, yeah, the, he was the yeah. one who, yeah. oh, oh, by that documentary, yeah. showed me the great historical importance of this place. That there was a place where um, Edward Carson, as a young boy, came, yeah. his, his forebears lived here. Um, and immediately I, I was struck that this is somewhere that, that must be a, almost like a pilgrimage site for, for the Ulster yeah. men. Yeah. And I, I, I'm an Ulster man. And it's it's been on my mind to come here for many years, but you've you've said that whilst you're open, is it June to September? Yeah, June, June July, and August. Yeah. Very few people. Months, yeah. Very few people from the north would come here. Is hardly, that right? Hardly any. Hardly any. Yeah. And what about the politicians? Uh, no, never. Never. Yeah. No, no, no. And what's what's your vision for here? Um, I I'd love to see it as <clears throat> as a place where people could come and and 
and, and see where the, 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 the father of Northern Ireland, whose mother was born here, yeah. uh, uh, spent his boyhood days here and developed, developed his, um, his um, various skills, play yes. hurling and fraternising with the local people. Yes. And, it, and it became like the Normans in Ireland, became more Irish yes. than the Irish themselves. And yeah. that was yeah. kind of the conclusion of that documentary in T.G. Cahar. Yeah. It was said that Ar Carson was an incredible, whilst he was very British, he was incredibly patriotic as an Irishman. Yeah. And I think as we approach the centenary <coughs> of the founding of Northern Ireland, uh, your work and really your vision, um, I hope that, that it can be acknowledged and that perhaps not in a not too distant future, others from the north will be able to come down as a pilgrimage it, like what I've done today. Yeah. And no yeah. doubt you will receive them um, oh, yeah, the, with, with great hospitality, yeah, yeah, yeah. as you did me. Yeah. Um, before I uh, wrap uh, th things up, I just want to say first of all, thank you very much for having me um, in your house today, yeah. for showing me around, the, the coffee and the care and the consideration. Yeah. I'm just wondering, if is there any last thing you'd like to sh share with uh, the people who are interested in Never Carson, Northern Ireland and Irish history? If there's um, anything you'd like to say? Well, any time the people come down either individually or, or in groups, they'll be always very welcome here. Yes. And it's a, it's a place of peace and reconciliation. Yes. And it's time for people to, to sort of... Uh, uh, it's, it's 100 years ago since there was a rebellion in Dublin. Yes. And it's about time, time we forgot, forgot about the past and, and, uh, and just move, move forward. You know, <coughs> we've we, we a lot more in common than we have apart from each other. Well, Michal, thank you very, very much for that. Yeah, very welcome. And um, I have to say, thank you. We'll, we'll do the. Um, you've been very generous, yeah. and um, yeah. I'm very grateful. Oh, and, uh, very I, I really hope the guys who are listening <laughs> will come and meet you. And I hope yeah. come 19 uh, 20 or 2022, yeah. when 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 we're marking the yeah. centenary of Northern Ireland, that we'll we'll get a plaque up here, and yeah, something yeah. will be done okay. to okay. fill yeah. it. Yeah. You know, acknowledge. I, I, I'd probably be gone by then. No, well, you seem in, in well, good well, health. Well, I do. <laughs> when I saw you, you, you were cutting yeah, yeah. Uh, with a chainsaw, yeah, so yeah. you seem very sprightly. So I'll say bye to the, yeah. the people watching. So thank you so much. Okay, <coughs>